What we want to figure out here is a sale price, the sales price. And so I'm drawing a line here. And here's a really good way to think about questions like this. Let's start with zero, zero dollars, go up to $50,000, 50,000. And then on the right hand side, write a line that represents the price, the price of what's being sold. And there are really two ways we can approach this question. Equally good, some prefer one, some prefer the other. Here's what we want to do. On the first 50,000, the commission is going, it's a 15% commission, 15% commission. So let's start a formula here. The commission C is 15%, and I like to write it as a fraction, but of course you could write it as 0.15. I'll erase that now, but either way, 15% on the first 50,000. Then on every dollar over the 50,000, let's call that amount, let's label it as X, X dollars above and beyond 50,000. And we're told that on the sale of this item, the seller will earn 10% on every dollar over 50,000. So our equation for the total commission earned is going to be the 15% on 50,000 plus 10%, 10% on this additional X dollars, and 50,000 plus X is going to be our total price. So what can we fill in here? Well, the commission we're told is 24,000, 15% of 50,000, let's cancel some zeros up here, two zeros on the bottom, two zeros on the top, 15 times what is now 500, 15 times five is 75, add two zeros, $7,500 is the initial commission. And then for every dollar beyond that, we said 10%, I'll write one tenth, one tenth of X. So now let's simplify. I want my X on the right hand side and everything else on the left hand side, so I'll subtract. 7,500 from both sides. On the right, we're left with one-tenth of X, or I'll just write X over 10. On the left, well, 24,000 minus 7,000 is 17,000. And then if we subtract an extra 500, we're left with what? 16,500. 16,500 is equal to X over 10. All right, multiply both sides by 10 now. And 10, of course, is the same as 10 over 1. So X over 10 times 10 leaves us with X. And then the 16,500, we multiply that by 10, so $165,000. Now that, that is the way that many people would solve this problem, and it's absolutely a good way to solve it, as long as we remember that X represents this amount over and above 50,000. So the total selling price, the total selling price is going to be the first 50,000 plus the additional 165 which is equal to what? $215,000. And that is our answer, answer C. A perfectly good way to solve the problem, as long as you remember that the answer isn't X, it's not 165,000, it's X plus 50,000. Now here's a second way to solve the problem. Go to a new slide here. And here again, we'll look at the initial 50,000 and note that there's a 15% commission on that amount. And then a 10% commission on everything above 50,000. Another way to solve this problem is let's call the price, let's call the price P. The commission, we know 24,500. The commission would be equal to what? Still 15% of the 50,000. So we'll write that in there. Plus, well now if we're looking at P, that represents the total price. We're gonna earn 10% on what? 10% on the total price P minus 50,000. Minus 50,000. So now our formula looks like what? 24,500 equals 7,500 plus 10%, one tenth of P, one tenth of the whole quantity, P minus 50,000. So we'd be subtracting one tenth of 50,000, we'd be subtracting 5,000. Now let's simplify all this. On the right, 7,500 minus 5,000, 2,500 plus one tenth of P, one tenth of the total price. Subtract the 2,500 from both sides. On the right, we have one-tenth of P. On the left, we have 21,500. Multiply both sides by 10. 10 over one, multiply both sides by, by 10. And on the left, you have what? 215,000 equals the price. So two ways to approach the problem, both of them equally good, as long as you remember what you're solving for. We're solving for we're solving for the total price.
So I hope that made sense. If it did, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel to watch lots of other free videos on the NBA.com practice tests and in the future on math problems from the GMAT official guide 2020 and beyond. Go to our YouTube channel and click on the column in the middle that says playlists. You'll see lots of free videos on there. See you in the next video.